my name is Christian Spalding. I'm an interventional cardiologist and I work at the European Hospital Georges Pompidou in Paris, France. And today it's my pleasure to talk about the solution de novo uh, study on behalf of the solution de novo uh, study uh, steering committee. The solution de novo study will compare two strategies, an RDEB strategy versus an RDES strategy. There have been fantastic improvements in DS technology in the past years, and DS are the mainstay of coronary angioplasty. However, DS have a 2% annual rate of TLF through five to 10 years due to the presence of a metallic prosthesis, which is a trigger for restenosis, stent thrombosis, and new lesions. There is therefore still room for improvement. Drug-coated balloons have shown their effectiveness in instant restenosis and in small vessels, but not in an all-columnar study. If a DES strategy uh, is uh, uh, non-inferior or even superior to a DES strategy uh, in an all-columnar study, well, this could be a major breakthrough uh, in PCI. Why was this study organized as a, a strategy study rather than a direct comparison uh, of two devices. Well, wh when you perform PCI with a DEB, there is a possibility that you may need to implant a stent either after vessel preparation or after the use of a DEB because of extensive dissection, for example. And this, according to published trials, occurs in approximately five to 20% of cases. And when you perform PCI with DES, in some cases, the DES cannot be implanted and a DEB can be used as an alternative strategy. It therefore seemed more appropriate to compare uh, two strategies, a drug-eluting balloon strategy and a drug-eluting uh, stent strategy. Uh, and obviously uh, the results will be analyzed according to an intention to treat analysis. The solution drug eluting balloon eludes sirolimus, which is a more effective and probably safer drug than pachypaxin. Sirolimus is more difficult to deliver from a drug eluting balloon. The solution drug eluting balloon has two distinctive features which optimize drug delivery to the vessel wall. Sirolimus is embedded in micro reservoirs with biodegradable polymer, and the uh, balloon has a patented coding technology which enhances drug retention on the balloon during the placement and maximizes transfers of sirolimus to the wall. And therefore, drug retention up to the target lesion is higher than that of currently available drug eluding balloons. And the uh, transfer to the vessel walls over 90 days is similar to what is obtained with current DES. The solution de novo study is an all-comer study with broad inclusion criteria. It will compare a all DEB strategy to an all DES strategy, and over 3,300 patients will be included in 50 sites. The aim is to demonstrate non-inferiority for target vessel failure of a solution drug eluding balloon strategy uh, versus a a DES strategy for the treatment of de novo coronary lesions. The primary endpoints will be target vessel failure at one year, and we will test for non-inferiority, and target vessel failure at five years, where we will test for non-inferiority, but also superiority. And obviously, in this large trial, there will be predefined subgroups, such as high bleeding risk patients, stable versus unstable patients, complex lesions, which, which will be analyzed once we have reached the primary endpoint. We are expecting to enroll the first patient in a few weeks. Enrollment is expected to take two years with 50 sites. And with a one-year follow-up, we expect to report the first results uh, by the end of 2024. The solution de novo study will be a major landmark study. If non-inferiority of the solution drug eluding balloon versus a DES strategy is proven in this all commerce population, that the solution drug eluding balloon will become a valid alternative to DES and will finally have a leave nothing behind strategy.
believe that DES will not obviously disappear, but there will probably be an increase in the use of drug eluting balloons and an increase in DS implantation. I'd like to thank you all for this invitation, and I'm sure you will enjoy EuroPCR 2021.